Wake up, honey. New hog skull shape just dropped. Wowie. Wowie, woo wow. He looks like Spider Man's rhino live action uh, villain. What is happening? I'm saying it. All right, let's watch. Let's do some hog watch, baby. Why can't 30 million of us, 40 million of us, drive to Washington, D.C.? I know it's a long way for me. I live in Oregon. So all I need is gas, food, and water. That's all I need. That's all I need. It's all we all need to get there. Get there, just sleep in your car, set up shop right there at the White House. You know, what are they going to do if 20, 30 million people converge on the White House at Washington, D.C. and demand Joe Biden resign, demand Camilla Harris resign. What are they going to do? We're, we the people, they work for us. They're not in charge of us. 81 million people did not vote for that person. Didn't happen. No chance. There's no chance of it. So what's stopping us? Like, what has the Biden administration done that has frustrated this man? Like, is it is it not really fully pushing for uh, infrastructure spending? Is that what it was? Is it any infrastructure spending at all that came from the IRA? Like, what's going on in his mind? I want to know. I want to understand. Is it like... Because the issue that I have with the Democratic Party is pretty obvious. They are feckless. They are cowards. They are inept. Right? And they claim to care about Americans and refuse to follow through on promises that they made to Americans, even if those promises are light. I just don't know anymore. I don't know, like, like what do these guys want? Like, I'm pretty sure if Joe Brandon acted out exactly as a Republican president would, and in some respects he has, on immigration, on anything, they would still... 100% be like, yeah, but he's a Democrat, so he's a pedophile. And Dylan Mulvaney did Bud Light, and everyone's being trans now. And it's the Democratic fault. I don't know what I want. I'm just angry. Like, that's what it is. You know, in 1932, Herbert Hoover, uh, veterans came back from World War, and they were back from World War One, and they were promised a bonus payment, and they never received their bonus payment. They ended up getting it back in, in 1936, 1938. They got issued their payment. But... They went up to D.C., set up shop at the White House, protested, set up camp, had food and everything. And you know what Herbert Hoover did? He ordered tanks in to clear them out. He ordered the army in to clear them out. He ordered the army to come in and clear fellow veterans, fellow army, Marines, whatever, out. Destroy the camps. You can watch it. There's a video of it. They set fire to it. They used pew pews on them, too. Were unalived. I mean... I love the idea of a dude that has an arsenal, like some fucking rural Oregon hick who was in the Marine Corps, I guess, probably, having to abide by the TikTok standards and saying unalived while simultaneously talking about a violent revolution against the American government. There's nothing our government will not do to us. And here's the thing. They have the military behind them because these men, they're so scared that, oh, I'm going to go to Leavenworth if I don't do what they tell me to do. Well, do you think the Nazis thought that too? Just following orders? Right. Just following orders. Anyway, we should all drive. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, politically speaking, you are infinitely oh, closer to fucking Nazis than you are to uh, the allies on that. But... <laughs> We're not going to be able to vote our way out of this tyranny. They're not going to have it. They've committed too many crimes. They're exposed. They know it. The power has to went to their head. 
Bro, mic check, please. Whether you support Trump or not, they're after all of us. You have to realize this. So whether you support Donald Trump now, or you support him in November of 2024, or you never support him, if you don't support him, you're not immune to the left and, and to what they want to do to you. You're not immune. They're not just going to overlook you. They're not just going to pass over, for lack of a better... They're not. There's no way to avoid what they're doing. The police state wants to control all of us. There is no immunity. There is no vaccine to keep you... Dude, <laughs> fucking, is this rumble or kick? Which one is it? Love that. Love that the, you know, regular old rumble streamer. You from being affected by leftism and totalitarianism and tyranny in this country. There is nothing. There is no, well, I didn't support Trump, so you're going to leave me alone. This isn't like, as I said on Saturday, you know, the, the best way to survive uh, uh, being chased by a bear is to run faster than your slowest friend. No, the left is a different type of bear. They're going to eat your slowest friend, then they're going to eat you. They're not going to stop. Their appetite can never be appeased. They're they're Yum. I mean, that's how I'm appetite thinking about it. Appetite can never be satisfied. So whether you support Trump or you support Chris Christie or you think Donald Trump is orange, or you think Ron DeSantis is the better choice and the primary is over and now you're upset and you're taking your ball and you're going home, they're not going to leave you alone. They're coming for your ball too. They're coming to your doorstep. It doesn't matter what you believe, that is going to happen. You are not immune to leftism. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Whether you are a Trump supporter, a DeSantis supporter, a Tim Scott supporter, a Chris Christie supporter, a Asa Hutchinson supporter, they are coming for you regardless. So get your head out of your ass. I don't care if you like Trump or not. Do you want to be controlled by tyrants? Yes or no? If the answer is no, then you know what you're going to have to do. You may have to put 15 clothespins on your nose to go into the polls and fill in that ballot for Donald J. Trump, given he's the nominee. You may have to do that. It's not about Trump. It's not about giving in to whether or not you like the man. It's about, is he the only person right now standing in the way of tyranny and your doorstep? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Are you ready to man up? Are you ready? to put your big boy pants on and do the right thing. That's what we need. This is pretty funny because it's like vote blue no matter who, but on the other side. And everything I know about the vote blue no matter who narrative that uh, is, is demonstrably a failure, I don't think it'll work on the right either. I mean, he that's what he's doing. He's just like, vote red no matter bread. I don't fucking know. Ridiculous what they're doing to Trump. Another indictment. This is ridiculous. How the fuck can you get away with doing another indictment? Really? What has he done wrong? Not a fucking thing, but made our country better. And you all dumb motherfuckers want to... Brother, you got a fucking... You got a pencil on your ear. I highly doubt that you hit the tax bracket. Like, what did Trump do for you? That was good. Please explain to me what Trump did to you that was tangibly good. He didn't do shit for you. Okay? He didn't. He just owned the libs and you found it entertaining. Politics was like a telenovela for you for four years and you loved it because like you thought all of these people that are responsible for all of the hurt that you experience on a daily basis, in your mind you thought that it was uh, these, these libtards that were uh, running the country and ruining your life. And the reason why Deborah left you, Trump was harming them. Trump was hurting their fifis. Meanwhile, he didn't do shit. Even if you make like 700K a year, yeah, he saved you like 2K. Like, it's literally nothing for actually rich people and that tax break isn't going away. I'm gonna stop him. Fucking time to take this fucking country back. The white people, the black people, the Mexican people, the anybody people. It's time we stand our ground and take our country back. Let's get it done. All right. There's a guy who lives in my local shell. The, he lives out of his van, bums the Wi-Fi, and has so many Trump and Republican stickers. It's like 105 degrees outside, and he's out there every day. The fuck did Trump for you, Trump do for you, lol? I just don't. I mean, I guess that guy's a little bit more understandable. He's just like openly, probably not mentally well. Cock goblin tyrant. If you think our government is a gang of cock goblin tyrants like I do, one, we're friends now. And two, we need to be ready for any shit grenades that are. Bro, I'm sorry, but you got a hair like that. You're a pretty boy, okay? Look at look at this man. I see his pectorals popping out of that Patriot t-shirt that's one size too small. I can see his nipples. And you got hair like a pretty boy. Don't fucking act like, you know, 
You don't engage in a little bit of cock goblin on the side. There's nothing wrong with it, you know? Government overlords throw at us. Now, if I had to guess, most of you guys who watch my videos probably already have freedom machines. But a really good addition to add to your bug out bag is the Henry U.S. Survival Rifle. Obviously, on social media, I can't what? show you the actual rifle because this video will get deleted quicker than Epstein's flight logs. The dude comes in this little carrying case right here. It is a 22 semi-automatic. It comes with two eight-round magazines, and it only weighs 3.5 pounds. Obviously, I can't show you the full thing, but it is 35 inches when it's fully assembled, and all of it breaks down, goes into the butt stock and there's a cover for it, and that makes it only 16.5 inches. This has been used by Air Force pilots who need a small caliber rifle. It is lightweight and reliable. Here's the size of one of the magazines. Wait, what the fuck? He's just doing an ad for, like, a concealable weapon that you can use as a substitute for, like, a long barrel rifle. That's it. This little dude assembles really quickly, and no tools are needed. And it's even rumored that the buttstock floats. I don't know that for sure. I can't say that, but I'd imagine it probably does. You can go right now and get one of these for $250 to $350 for a very basic one. And the average person should have no problem taking out small game anywhere from 25 to 50 yards, even if you're not a marksman. I'm not an expert in anything, especially guns. But I do recommend you guys go out and get one of these. I've shot hundreds of rounds through mine. Never had an issue. They're known for being reliable and lightweight. Stay self-reliant and train to be an asset to your team. Long live old school America, motherfucker. Train to be an asset to your team? I don't get it. Like, why don't these guys just join the military and, like, uh, go kill brown children overseas? Like, you can still do that. You can also just, like, go to... Dude, you can go to Ukraine. Why don't you just go to Ukraine? Go to Ukraine. Go to Ukraine. Defend Ukraine. Well, like, what? why are you so horny to, to LARP about, like, a potential war? Just go to Ukraine. Don't encourage them? Oh, 100%. I think it's the best thing to do. If you are like a yee-yee-ass uh, patriot that's like fantasizing about using your guns, why don't you just go to Ukraine? You will, for the first time in your life, actually go up against a state military with a standing army, okay, who has uh, an equal amount, if not uh, military superiority in certain respects. You'll actually experience what real combat looks like. You know what I mean? Go to Ukraine. Like, you can do it. You don't have to fantasize about it here. You can, like, literally go and, and fight. You know what I mean? And you'll be doing something honorable and just. You know, you're defending Ukraine from invaders. I don't get it. It's amendment. Oh, my God. My king. What is he saying? What is he saying now? January 6th is like July 4th. To everybody else, it's just another day on the calendar. And if you talk to survivors or families of 9-11, of Pearl Harbor, mm -hmm. I don't think they're the same thing. Some of these charges, I love it, conspiracy to defraud the government. Okay, well, what would you call Russia collusion? Mm -hmm. What would you call Hillary and the CIA knew that it was a lie? Bro, he's got nothing other than, nah, uh no you. None of this is... Uh, None of this is, is going to help you in court. You know what I'm saying? Nuh-uh. No, you, dude. No, the Democrats. Well, they did it, too. It's like, all right, bitch, you should have fucking worked on it back then. Then All you're doing is sharing Trump's L's, okay? He was in power, and he couldn't use the DOJ against the, the Democratic Party. I don't understand it. Seems to me like your boy fucking sucks. Still push it anyway. Not only that concocted fake emails to make a judge spy on the Trump campaign. They defrauded the FISA court. Also, the laptop cover-up with the FBI, that's a conspiracy to defraud. That denied people their voting rights. Or the CIA PSYOP, they ran on the laptop a month before the election, coordinated with the Biden campaign. Another conspiracy. I mean, this is instructive because, like, when you watch stuff like this, you understand what your what your your parents are are being mind broken into believing you know what i mean it's definitely it's definitely decent to to watch stuff like this so you can get a better understanding of like where they're coming from you know what i mean because because i i can't keep up with half this shit conspiracy so if you're going to charge garbage like this everyone's going to be in prison i love this part of the indictment when jack smith says well fact checkers <laughs> You don't know the lore, little bro? I mean, I kind of know the lore. I've kept up with the lore a little bit. Not fully. It's hard to keep up with it because, like, they have they have more characters than a telenovela, okay? There's always, like, some other random guy. 
Because like no matter what they say, no matter what a guy says, no matter how far away that person is from the ridiculous claims that they're making, Republicans would be like, this is a whistleblower and uh, he needs to be protected. Sure, fine. You know what I mean? But like we need to protect this whistleblower. He is the greatest whistleblower of all time. Also, uh, every other whistleblower that came before him like Chelsea Manning or or uh edward snowden they need to be executed obviously but like but this guy this is a real whistleblower and then the whistle that they're blowing is just like it'll always just literally be something so stupid like hunter biden uh, called his dad on the phone one time and was like see he picks up my phone calls he loves me see there you go arrest him like what whistle did you blow said that there was no fraud. I don't think fact checkers have a great track record, so that's not even going to fly in court. Think about the margin of this election. There was three <laughs> states, margin was razor thin, 42,000. You're saying Donald Trump was out of his mind to think he might be able to claw back half? That's what, 21? 21,000, that's all he needed to change out. And you're saying they're now going to put... Wait, I'm sorry. What, you can't just do that. Like, what do you mean? That is insane. Yeah, it's just like, well, it was close. It was close. Why can't we just, like, cheat a little bit? Like, I'm sorry. You mean to tell me uh, when it's close, you can just, like, cheat? You can just get away with cheating? Like, how the fuck does that work? What is happening? As a treat, why can't we get uh, 11,786 electors? Like, what's up with that? Come on. I'm the president. Come on. <laughs> The 2020 election on trial. Donald Trump is chomping at the bit. He's going to call witnesses. He's got subpoena power. He's going to put Detroit, Philly, Vegas on the stand and make them defend the integrity of their voting process. The lawyer last night was on CNN, cleaned their clock. For the record, people are saying, well, it happened in 2000, except no, it didn't. Because in 2000, they ended up winning originally. And they stopped the successful recount because they knew that the recount would absolutely show that the results produced in Florida were the exact opposite. So. No. Fox fell off number one primetime viewers since dropping Tucker. Did they? This is just for people who love pro wrestling. Fox is on all day and wrestling is like once a week. Yeah, except... It, I don't know. I feel like people will get fatigued from like trying to keep up with all these like characters that aren't necessarily all that creative. Like You forget, wrestling is well written. Every single person that is involved is a flashy character that you can pay attention to. In the Trump world, these supposed whistleblowers are not cool and unique and interesting and telegenic. They're just fucking random guys who want to make like a little bit of a media hustle going. Get a little bit of a media hustle going on the side. Trump is the only person who's telegenic and charismatic. Copium, well-written. I'm sorry, dude, but like well-written for the fucking taste of the average American, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's not your cup of tea, but yes, wrestling absolutely is entertaining. It's demonstrably entertaining. It's not like these characters are uh, really complex figures either. You, you kind of get exactly what you expect. There's some lore. There's some background information. You understand their motivations, but it's, for, it's, it's very understandable for the average person. Whereas, like, knowing all of the names of, like, Trump's uh, advisors or whatever is not as entertaining as fucking wrestling. Fox, the guy said they're trying to speed this trial up. We need maybe nine months to a year. This isn't getting done before. Point is up and down system, up and down the system. Republicans get like a one to 10% handicap depending on where it is. And everyone seems to think this is normal. So that's why they can't see shit. Like it's only 21,000 votes. Just give it to us. They start talking about the fake electors which includes a conversation that he had with Donald Trump, where Donald Trump 
after asking him to overturn the election, to not do his job at certifying it, he says to Mike Pence, you know, you're too honest. When someone says you're too honest, that means that you want them to do the dirty thing, that you want them to That's do the just bad thing. Trump, not as entertaining as wrestling, might be the take from you that would just actually have said him if he heard it. No, Trump is entertaining as wrestling, but the side characters are not. Also, Trump literally is so entertaining and has been entertaining as uh, in the wrestling universe, too. So the problem is Trump himself, who was at WrestleMania and is friends with fucking Vince McMahon, he's entertaining. Other characters, on the other hand, are not. It's like if WrestleMania only featured one cool character and all of the other side characters were dog shit and so boring and didn't have any, like, uh, cool backstories. There was no rake. There was no... Uh, there's no fall guy. Holy fuck, that was scary. What the hell? So just WWE? Sidney Powell's not boring? Yeah, but that's on the other side. We're talking about... That actually works against Donald Trump. Uh, Democrats don't really care about that shit anyway. But what you're talking about with respect to Sidney Powell is, is that's a Trump universe uh, bad person. That's one of Trump's allies. That's not a good thing for Trump. I'm talking about like the Hunter Biden. I'm talking about like, what was it? The, the fucking Jenny, o Bruce Orr and Nellie Orr. You know what I mean? Like those guys are boring as shit. Those are supposed to be like the characters in the trump verse that end up uh, getting... The, the Democrats indicted on conspiracy charges or whatever. Those people are not the type of people that you care about. Like, even, no matter how brain broken you are, the Trump cinematic universe does not feature any solid side characters. And all the solid side characters in the Trump universe actually end up hurting Trump because Rudy Giuliani is entertaining. Except that doesn't benefit Trump. That actually hurts him. Because Rudy Giuliani is doing a lot of fucked up shit. Roger Stone, entertaining. Not great for Trump right now because he's doing a lot of fucked up shit. It's easy to pay attention to the Trump side villains because they're entertaining. Mike Pillow, Mr. Pillow himself, entertaining, criminal. There is not a single character on the Trump cinematic universe that's supposed to be like the villains on the Democratic side that is actually good. They try to make Hunter Biden into a villain. He turned into an anti-hero with a fat cock. And a proclivity to do crack cocaine on camera. Usually around his weapons. All of his side characters are uh, interesting enough to watch. Whereas none of the villains are good. You can't pay attention to them. Hillary Clinton, good villain. But that, that's like 30, 40 years of concerted efforts to, to like create conspiracies, some of which are true. You know what I mean? To make Hillary Clinton a viable uh, villain. Barack Obama, he's black and was the president enough to create a viable villain out of him. But those guys aren't on the forefront. And without a good villain, how the fuck is Trump supposed to keep people captivated on his audience? Joe Biden is the worst villain because he's such a boring old white guy. That's why they keep trying to fuck go back to Hunter Biden, who is entertaining, but uh, doesn't have villain status. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you guys understand? Not enough good villains on the Democratic world have cucked the, the, the content watchers. I mean, I, that, again, on page, that, that, just, that on page 15 You can disagree with that. You can disagree no. with that, but you don't arrest somebody over it. But you can't disagree with the fact that he knew that he had lost the election because every everyone in Christendom... Wait, you're going to try to say that I'm Donald gonna, Trump you know, knew he lost. There's no yes, way. They're going to try to here. prove that in court. Just RFK will revitalize the TCU? Nope. See? RFK, not a villain. That's right. RFK, he's literally the dark horse. He's being celebrated by the Trump universe. They're not looking at him as a villain. They're looking at him as an ally. Another charismatic, telegenic figure. Well, not charismatic, but telegenic because he's out of his fucking mind. DeSantis is supposed to be a villain in the Trump world. Again, not interesting. Very boring. 
Trump might turn him into a funny. Uh, Trump might turn him into a funny little bitch boy, right? Because uh, he has all the qualities to get uh, slapped around by Donald Trump and take it and say, "Please, sir, can I have some more?" But again, RFK is supposed to, is not even a villain in the Trump universe. All the Trump supporters love him. I'm willing to bet, and this is the funniest thing. I'm willing to bet that more anti-vaxxers are willing to vote for RFK than Ron DeSantis. How about that for a take? Cornish Jim Jam. Thank you for the 50 tier one gifted subs, allowing 50 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. There's a three-minute ad break coming to you right now, unless you are one of the 50 people that just got gifted a subscription by Cornish Jim Jam. Goddamn. Ooh, wee, baby. Is three minute ad break now. <sighs> what happened to Hog Talks? I'm going to get back to that in a second. Jessica, in, there's page, no way he's going to be proven that he knew he lost. On, on page, he still thinks he's president. On, <laughs> well, then the insanity defense is available. <laughs> on page 15 of the indictment, for instance, they talk about what happened in Georgia. And co conspirator number two, who we know is Rudy Giuliani now tells Donald Trump, the defendant, this is a fraudulent accusation at this point. And then he still went ahead and pushed it. Maybe he disagreed. That's an example. No, so it's like, you you just, so it's like the Russian collusion on. thing. When Schiff goes in there this is yeah. incredible. and gets a briefing and then comes out and says All there's collusion. All I have heard from you is Hillary Clinton, Russia collusion. You cannot move on with your life. Move on. You got Wait, a new you on. This is a two and a half year old story. No. It's not. There's new information. We didn't have anything oh. from Mike Pence. You could just the fake elector scheme is not committing fake. They were crimes. Trump electors. And right, also got... some of his strongest defenders, like Andy McCarthy, wrote this piece in the National right, Review, just, which got taken up. I have two other people at the table. And I know. I'm so to rude. Speak. I, I cut off everyone <laughs> constantly. That's so sad when you got to shut her down. My Ruby Pearl, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs. I don't know how anyone <laughs> can. Does she play the frustrated liberal on purpose? Yeah, I mean, that's her role. Her lo- role is to be the liberal uh, voice that normally gets slammed. But recently, she's actually been kind of cooking. So ironically, because she's cooking, they have to shut her up every time. Like, Jesse Waters would literally be like, shut up, woman. Anyway. Goffness and the stupidity. And this- Let's get back to the fucking hog talks, baby. This country has reached its peak. It is about... The first fucking amendment. It is not about Donald Trump. He has. A- His wife is driving the car as he's doing this hog talk because unfortunately he's gotten too many DUIs. A first amendment fucking right. You fucking assholes. If a chipmunk bit his own fucking nut bag, they'd indict Donald Trump for that. Do you understand what they are doing? Next, they come after me because I don't answer to nobody except just because I fucking drove drunk into a playground that one fucking time. They're coming after me. Oh, I didn't know it was illegal, Your Honor. You fucking kidding me? Now I got to blow into that fucking thing every 15 goddamn minutes. And I can't even go above 65 miles per hour. I can't even use my fucking toothbrush and mouthwash. The thing keeps beeping when I use mouthwash in the mornings. Get the fuck out of here. The First Amendment. And then they're going to come after you big mouth fucking liberals who love expressing your fucking dumbass grievances. And squash that and indict you. Do you get it? Do you fucking get it? You all should think about the graves, the the bodies in the graves of our soldiers, our men and women of the armed forces that gave their lives for us to use our first fucking amendment. And it's being pissed on. <laughs> Not because it is jerk. They pissing on us. They pissing on our First Amendment rights. <laughs> it's okay when the demon rats are pissing on our First Amendment rights. But when I whip my dick out and pissed on the kindergarten after I drove into it while I was drunk driving, all of a sudden I get hit with a sex offender charge. Why is that allowed? 
Are you fucking kidding me? There is no God and no fucking justice. Go politicians who answer to the fucking George Soros's because you dumb jerk offs don't understand how important this is. Good impression so added to the is- hog rotation. I mean, dude, you, you rarely ever get a Staten Island hog that good. You made it onto the Nolita Dirtbag IG. Congrats. Oh, God. What the fuck? Last night was a motion picture. The motion picture. All right. I missed it because I'm not logged into Instagram. I can't see it. It's kind of the catch-22, right? You're aware of all the shit going on, but you can't do nothing about it. I feel you, dude. I'm in the same boat. The answer is you don't stop going to work. <clears throat> You, uh, you keep going like nothing's wrong for the sake of the, the rest of the people around you, the people that depend on Not really a cash 22. You think they fucking know what they're talking about? On you. You can't stop working. I'm not saying you should. Although it would really make me happy to see a couple hundred million people say fuck you to the government and start marching you know we're not paying bills we're not working no more fuck you but until that day comes you got to kind of keep playing the game you know so i guess uh don't be too hard on yourself we're all doing the same shit at this point you must have money to survive in this world we're living in it's that simple keep your head up afford our rent we can't afford our prescriptions we can't afford insulin Uh uh-oh now that first person is speaking facts it seems about material conditions let's see what this guy has to say about that seems like a lot of pissed off humans in that video humans i bet you there's a lot more we don't need to wake anybody up anymore have y'all hit your line in the sand yet Are you done serving your... Why is he only ear fucking my one ear? Like, he's only fucking my left ear. You know what I mean? Also, you know his ass is so soy and so Reddit. Like, the humans thing. And the fact that he thinks he's crafting this, like, anime villain monologue. (laughs) Are you ready yet? Guess what? What's up? You know, pop your... uh, Crack your popcorn. And sit back and buckle up, because what's about to happen is going to be epic. Oppressors, and they're right, and I'm guilty of it too. And my ego would say, well, I went to Ottawa, I had snipers on my back, but we went home. What? That's what I keep What? He had snipers on his back in Ottawa? What the fuck? Is this a Canadian trucker, dude? God damn, dude. These hogs, they're hogging. You're saying the problem is. Now, we've seen the riots, the revolutions in other places on Earth. And lies are being told about it to keep us mainly in North America, Australia, and the UK suppressed either in fear as to what will happen when we do rise up together or in disbelief as to what's going on. France being a great example. Oh, it's the pensions. They're all just a bunch of wussies complaining about two extra years. Oh, he hit that boot so fucking hard. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Can't take you seriously. I'm sorry. Nope, not watching the rest of this. Can't do that. You can't be a hog. Good morning, Patriot. Canadian hogs are, are... Only frustrating to me when they make their way down to America and destroy American political discourse, okay? Just so everybody knows, the American society, the patriots in America, the veterans of... ...of America are resisting... They are resisting the establishment's plan. And Washington, D.C. is in full-on panic mode. 
they thought that yeah they're in full-on panic mode because a bunch of dudes with this haircut are making tiktok videos dude arresting donald trump and smearing his name would cause um a deficit or so to say or they thought he would lose followers he would lose supporters he would lose support in general but all all it's done is galvanize him that's all it's done people are waking up to this bullshit and people know that dude get, get wake up to the fucking bullshit that your barber gave you okay how about that truth there's so much truth out there if you look the only way to fix America, the only way to guide us on the right path is the. I love when people get mad at me because I sang a fucking cranberries or whatever a zombie because they're like, this is an anti IRA song. Do not sing this. Like, dude, shut up. Okay. Calm down. And who's. Like, calm down, chatters. Okay. Chill out. You're a ridiculous person. Okay. I have a question. We all know who's doing. The things to the world and who's bro this oh wake up honey new hog skull shape just dropped wowie wowie woo wow what the fuck my man looks like my man looks like like a hammerhead shark but upside down i don't know what the hell dude Dude, that is a weapon, dude. He looks like Spider-Man's rhino live-action uh, villain. He does. What is happening? Pushing for events to happen in the world. My question is, why are they still walking the earth? Bro, it's not even a full cone. Look at that. It's like bumpy. Why does he have Tyler... Why does he have Tonka T-style uh, head bumps? but not where you would normally have the headset. He has like Tyler one head, like the bumps that he has, but on very different parts of his head. It's crazy. Why are they still here? I have a question. All right. On that note, I got to end it early here, folks. I apologize. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit more hog watch, but I guess that much is for tomorrow. I know. I'm sorry. I got to get back home. Okay, so I can make it to leftovers on time. And also, so I can see my little baby Kaya. I miss her.